Hello, 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 mi gente. ¿Qué hay? ¿Qué hola? <laughs> so today is Sunday, day seven. We completed a full week. Thank you so much for joining me up until day seven thus far. Uh, today we're making a veggie burger. But oh, you know what? I haven't found a name for it. So let me let me have a moment. Um. We can call her, right, because it's a her today. It's a her today. So she is going to be called Blend of Nine Different Veggies. Um, a estilo burger, hamburger, you know how. <laughs> Spanish people from Miami, we, we, we switch everything up. Okay, so hamburger, almoso, hamburger, awesome burger, awesome veggie burger, ah! awesome veggie burger. Espérate. Awesome veggie burger, hermosa, jambé de vegetales, hermosa, 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 jambé estilo vegetales. Something like that, we'll figure it out. By the time you see the title of this video, that's the name. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I think about the name, that's the last thing I think about. I literally go and open the refrigerator and say, what are we cooking today? And that's what it's been like. So these little, these bad boys, uh, let me show you the box again. It's vegan, earth grown vegan. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. You can oven, toaster oven, skillet, or microwave it. Home girl for the skillet. All right, because I like to put my own little twist to it as usual. So they're frozen, but it's okay. That all is about to change in a minute, and I got something for y'all too. So I washed my hands already before I clicked the play button. Let me see what I got. Put my grapeseed oil on there, and I'm gonna let the patty just do its thing. I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute. Okay. Y'all know when it's ready, you know. Okay, so let's cut up our veggies. I'm adding tomatoes to mine. You decide what vegetables you wanna add into yours. But I'm going with my tomatoes. And it's gonna be a double one, right? So I gotta find another doble vegetale. Doble hamburger de vegetal. I don't know yet, I don't know. Whatever you see the title on here, that's the name. That's not, I don't want to focus on that. I just like the cooking part. So we got my two slices. I'm going to use my onion. I want this onion, not the white onion. I want purple. Because it's very flavorful and it's gonna give the, the color that I want, you know, a different popping color. You know? So of course the veg is gonna be done before this thing gets ready. But there goes my slices. Okay. So I just wanna have that already prepared and prep. Cool, cool, cool. Uh we're using for our buns. My buns. Mushroom. Mushroom. All right. Let's do it. Now these are a little smaller than I expected. But it's okay. It's okay. We going to double whammy this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the little root part of it from the bottom, okay? Let 
Um, I'm gonna rinse my hands. So what happened is double veggie burger. Okay, so this will become the bun. But I may want to use this one is a little bigger though. This is bigger. Take this part out. And I may use this top. No, it don't match. It's fine. This thing will look will match. Alright, this is the perfect size. All I need. Okay. So we got that going. Perfect. Put that to the side. I have to put things to the side because I need I need space. I need space. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the sauce for the fries. We are making carrot, carrot fries. Seasoned carrot fries. Okay, so we have that. Let me get my plate out so I can already have my two slices of tomatoes and my onions are out the way. And then I'm going to real quickly just heat up the buns, but that very lightly and that's like towards the end. But I'm going to go ahead and put it on the plate just so it's out the way as well. Perfect. Everything easy so far, right? All right. Cool things. Now, um, I have arugula. All right, you can use whatever you want, but arugula is so so rich in vitamins and nutrients. That's all I have in here. But you guys can use whatever salad you like. Whatever salad you like. All right, so that's going. So therefore, I'm gonna go ahead and take out my arugula that I'll be using. This thing is almost done, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss it. Right. Trash. Let me wash my hands. And then we're going to make some dressing for the carrot fries. Now, I've already started the carrot fries because it takes about 25 minutes, but I'm going to show you exactly what I did. All right. Nothing too hard. And I'm using my baby air fryer. Cherry. I think I introduced you guys to her already. Right. So I have my arugula uh, chopped up, ready. And I'm gonna put her on the side as well on my plate. Perfect, out the way. Cheese. I were not was not able to go to the store and get any vegan cheese because we don't throw away cheese at home, right? We don't we don't throw away anything. We use up what we have. Okay, if I learned anything from my mama, use what you have and make do what it do with what you have. Great. So our cheese is like we've been using for the week. Mozzarella and cheddar. Alright, so I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to run through you guys. I'm just going to show you what I did with my bites as they're almost ready. About four minutes in. So these are the carrots that I got. So basically what I did was, I took a couple as many as I wanted. I went ahead and cut the edges, okay? Then I went ahead and cut through the middle. Like this, okay? So I had a couple of these, okay? Maybe like 16, 17, who knows? Don't judge me. You know how to measure. I just, whatever my script tells me. So I went ahead and did that. Then I got a plate and I like, seasoned it. So what did I use? I went ahead and put my grapeseed oil over it. Um, 
I use garlic, garlic powder. What else did I use? Um, I use parsley. And oh my god, I'm having a brain fart. I use garlic powder, I use pepper, I use the cheese, and I use the garlic and onion powder, yeah. Mix that thing together, blah, 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 blah. But you season it how you want to season it, okay? And then meanwhile, I created a dip sauce, all right, for it, so when it's done. Now you can eat it raw too. Her raw is good too. Which I know how I am. I avoid using them. But you can do this too. This dressing can be better. This is my first time, so it's just a start. But basically, you know what I'm gonna add here? I'm gonna go ahead and add some sea moss. my dressing. The dressing is Greek yogurt. Why not change the taste? I just tried to do some balls in my stuff. Because it's this way. Alright. So, um, for the dip sauce, the dipping sauce, the dipping sauce, I use yogurt. Let me show you. Greek yogurt. Um, lemon juice. Lemon pepper. I also use lemon pepper to season my, my carrots. A little bit of regular pepper and some salt. Mix that dye together into the taste that you want it and you add whatever you want additional. We don't throw away from someone to finish this. Uh -huh. So, and then I just added some sea moss because it's my business. And my girl was there. All right, y'all hear that? The cheese is done. My fries, my carrot fries. Let me taste this thing, see if it makes a difference. Is that right? It has like a tingy, zesty, zesty taste. Whatever that is. You know what I'm talking about, right? The tingy taste. Because of that lemon juice I put in there. All right, so that's done. Let's take our frame over here, home girl. But before I do that in my bun, I'm gonna go ahead and put it alongside. Let me cut some of this mushroom bun so it can be a little more flatter when I put everything together. All right. Cool. Great. I'm glad you guys agree. I'm glad you're with me. It's Sunday. Sundays are Daddy Girls Day. Um, but my father's no longer with us. He passed away in December of last year. Okay. And he was, oh my God, that man could eat. <laughs> but, so Sunday we will go out and eat together. And then we will get drunk. Because that's what fathers and daughters do. Anything I know about drinking, I learned from him. Okay. So, I want to go and read by the bay today. And... Think of him, and I may decide to toss his ashes out today as well. 
Alright, so I'm putting the buns down for a quick 30 seconds, not too long. I just want it to be a little warm. Alright? I still got that yogurt still on me. Alright, so I'm about to take it out right now. And I'm gonna pour some of that. That um a little more than 30 seconds now. I'm going to pour some, put some mayo on my bun. Alright, get the first one. Nice and crispy on the edge, not too much. But again, I wanted it to be warm. So, my patties are almost pretty much done. I'm going to add some cheese to it. Okay. Let's do the cheese first before I add my mayo. I'm gonna add some cheese to it because I want it to be a double. Let's see. Yeah. Touch there. Touch there. And I'm gonna tap some more. Mozzarella, tab here, tab there. Okay. Like that, like that. <laughs> okay. Now, go ahead and spread. My wonderful. And then put that in there too. All right, got that in there. You put as much as you want. I was never a mayo fan to begin with, but since I started this journey, I said, well, let me try something different. You know what I'm saying? That's my motto. Try something you've never tried before. Do that every day for the rest of your life. And you see how much, how drastic your, your life changes. I mean, positively. Do, 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 do the right thing now. Do something you've never done before, but that's positive, of course. Don't be trying to do no crazy stuff. All right, go around and say that. So, so, told you to do that. Mm -mm. All right, so let's get this baby out. So she's nice and crispy. I was my first time trying it, but it's just, she's a little too burnt. Ooh. Wow, it tastes good though. Wow. I don't know if it tastes better if it wasn't. This thing is so good. Wow. All right, let me get my burgers up. Wow, really good. So remember my double. So I got my my first patty on there. I'm gonna add my first layer of tomatoes, and I'm gonna add the other patty. See the double, and then I got my cheese already melting on there. I'm gonna add then my other tomato, my onion. So all fit in there, it's okay. <laughs> and then my cheese again. Maybe I shouldn't have put that. Shouldn't have put them that, that long, but they're good. So I know next time to instead of put it just for 15 minutes, because I saw at 15 minutes it was nice and light, but I, you know I pushed it. I pushed the envelope. I did. It. So I'm gonna decorate it with some mozzarella cheese. All 
right. All right. You got cheese all over, y'all. Am I missing anything? No. This is her. Got my bites, my carrot bites. Carrot burnt bites. I ain't no shame my game, honey. I'm gonna have to call it carrot burnt bites too. <laughs> Oh, embrace the process, baby. It's only going to get better. You choose how you like it. Burnt or unburnt. If you don't want to burn, then we'll just lighten it for you. That's it. But thank you, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm still learning how to use this baby. She did me rich. She did well for me. No oil necessary. Only put some to season over the fries, but other than that, you are good. All right, guys. Hasta mañana. Love you guys. Take care. Be safe. Don't bother nobody today. Check on your friends. Check on your family members. And make sure you tell your family that you love them. All right? Tomorrow's not promised to anybody. I'm going to go see and talk to my dad by the bay, by the water, because that was, that was our thing. All right? Bye, guys. <laughs>